Hello. I thought I'd talk about this uh, Slayer Exciter a little bit because it's generated a little bit of interest because it's wound with aluminum wire. Pretty neat. This is the uh, Broken Man circuit right here that I'm using on it. Applying 12 volts to it. And it's working great. I wanted to show you how well it works, so here we go. I just flipped the power onto it. I gave it 12 volts. And uh, this is a little uh, fluorescent bulb. You can see it really lights it up good. Yeah. I, uh, on the bottom down here, on that transistor, I cut a little piece of aluminum foil. Because that does get kind of warm and it works like a heat sink. It seems to work pretty good. Uh, here's the uh, LED with an AV plug on it. Over here, I got some water sitting here. It likes the water, yeah. <laughs> likes it a lot. Okay, and here I have a neon. I want to show you this thing puts out pretty good power. Yeah. And over here, let's see how well, well it likes the water. Oh, yeah, it likes it great. You know? Okay. And one more little test to show you how well it puts out. Here's a 4 foot 40 watt. I don't know how well you can see that. But it really lights it up good. <laughs> My hand down here. Turn it sideways up here. That aluminum wire is working out pretty darn good. Put that down here. Oh, there's one more thing I wanted to show you quickly. Uh, Johnny Devereaux, I copied this circuit of his offline. He calls it an efficient rectifier for high voltage by Johnny Devereaux. I thought, well, I'm going to try that and see if I can make it work. And I did, and here it is here. I've got that piece of paper on there because I have a different circuit on the other side. And it's, it's really so simple. It's just three LEDs, as you can see on the circuit here. Three LEDs. I'm uh, using one I got at Radio Shack. It's a 400 volt, I believe, and a, a 1.5 amp. It, it works great. The one Johnny's using here is a 3 amp and 1000 volt. And I thought, well, I couldn't find one, so I tried this one that works good. Okay, I'm going to hook this up. I have a little uh, coil I wrapped loosely, if I can. <laughs> I wrapped loosely so I can slide it up and down on the main tower here. I'll hook this side up. We're going to watch this little motor down here, I hope. I'm going to hook it up. And there she goes. You see her running? You see her running like crazy. <laughs> it works really good. Little, uh, nothing, nothing to it type circuit. Three LEDs. Nothing else. That little son of a gun is just spinning up a storm. I'll uh, disconnect it so you can see. Yeah. It really works good. Well, in, anyway, I, when I first started, I started out with this little guy here. See him? <laughs> Compared to that one, anyway. And it works good, too. But anyway, I thought that'd be a little bit interesting. Some of you guys were wondering about the uh, aluminum wire. Well, it works good, as you can see. I went down to the electric shop and the guy came out and he said, here, he handed me a coil like the one in my hand here. And he said, try this and see if you can use it for anything. It's aluminum insulated wire. And I did, and I wound it on here. And much to my surprise, it worked pretty good. The uh, coil here, that's 18 gauge copper wire. I didn't try aluminum on there, but I bet it would work too. Okay, thanks for watching.